Before joining, Loki's family, or when she converted from Bald, Lafia couldn't help but ask Loki. Even if you're the pretty girl and the cute elf we like, don't say any more. Then Loki showed a constant smile. Simultaneously, she cast a glance, making herself appear to see a blue flame that didn't exist. This was probably the first time she felt how terrifying Loki, a being beyond human intelligence, was, and it was also the last time. Now we and Lafia have been making out and making out all year. Need I tell you how many times I've rubbed that pair with this hand? Now I can imitate Riveria and the others and complain like that. There was a crash and the back of the head was hit with a staff, the goddess rolled over in pain and the male god, Bald, is still with that grim smile, it can be said that the deities of the two gods are already the difference between the clouds and the mud. Arisa's face contorted in front of the door. Loki is still like that, but, you've changed, Lafia. Baldr ignored Loki and said. Leaning in front of the large table made of ash, he smiled calmly and said, it's a different person. Lafia felt as if she had been completely seen. With the eyelids closed, the pupils of the god's eyes shouldn't be able to see anything. Seeing what happened in the last three years, what I felt and what I missed. I have many things I want to ask you, many things I want to tell you, but. Let's get down to business. Before Loki's mood takes a turn for the worse. From seeing his face, our degree of displeasure is already at 120%. Let's finish quickly. Loki, who got up, said bitterly, and Baldr nodded. Then, she looked at Lafia through her tightly closed lids. Lafia, I hope you can take on a team. Hearing this discussion between him and her, Lafia's eyebrows twisted into different shapes. Isn't it family recruiting or speaking at a seminar? Of course, I also intend to call people who want to participate and give lectures. But other than that, I hope you can teach some students what you saw and felt in Ororio. In the dungeon between them. Speaking of which, Lafia came to her senses. He wanted to go to the dungeon with the students to explore. Then exercise your bodies and minds at the same time, that's what Bald means. They all want to be adventurers. It could be said that they were carefully selected in this school district. They got, Loki Familia, and, Freya Familia. They're not here anymore. Anyway, I was able to get you, they must be the only ones who agree, that's what I judged. Of course it's in the sense of, combat ready power. Balder added. He looked at Loki at the same time. To be blunt, there may be children elsewhere who may have more talents and potentials, or beauties and youths that Loki can look up to. Loki expressed his dissatisfaction, as if his bad friend had seen right through his thinking. I'm glad you figured it out so quickly. One more thing, it's not exactly asking students to have hands-on experience, but I trust you to be their teacher. I am, the teacher. Baldr nodded, confirming Lafia's murmur. Compared to previous years, this year's situation is a little different. Many students are more impatient. If only in Ororio the practice will be dangerous, so we judge. And which team stands out the most? That's right. In fact, besides them, there are some other children that I'm also worried about, but, thanks to him, this should be resolved there. Lafia didn't understand the last sentence and tilted her head, while Baldur smiled and said, nothing. I think I understand how cruel the dungeon is. Also, Lafia, I hope you can guide them with your point of view. You can offer advice. You can also root for them. Please observe them well and then speak your truest words. That will help you too. With a peaceful smile, Baldr finally concluded like this. Loki didn't interrupt. One side kept making demands, but she just watched silently. Her eyes focused on himself. Lafia, who was in charge of making the final judgment, 
slowly said. I understand. It was the school district that raised me. I will never forget that kindness. While I will never have the ability to guide others, I will do my best to fulfill their duties. Realizing she was an elf, she chose her words carefully and nodded. Baldr expressed his thanks. So, from now on, Lafia will be here as a dispatcher for a while. Is Loki alright? There's a problem. From today until the appointed date, about half a month, Lafia will leave the Loki family and live in the school zone. I remember that Anna Kitty, who acted as the family's recruiter last time, also stayed here, although the time was very short. Lafia, who lived in the dorm when she was a student, is not unhappy about it. Hearing Loki's no doubt abusive response, Baldr looked overjoyed. With a transparent smile on his face, he looked at Lafia. I will teach you a lot starting today, Lafia. Leon is currently in class, so he's not here. Please listen to his detailed explanation later. If there's any inconvenience, Orisa, it's up to you to resolve her problem. Finally, Orisa saluted and the conversation ended. Loki didn't seem to want to stay a second longer, so Lafia could only bow to Baldrin leave. That smug smile, I really can't stand it. What is that idiot doing? What kind of aura of a good god? Why do you hate Lord Baldr so much? I don't need any reason. Not even physically, he's a god we can't stand. After yelling at the door in a voice that could reach Baldr's ears, Loki addressed Lafia, and Arisa who was with her, gave a thumbs up. Then let's hang out and strike up a conversation with the school district cuties. I'll teach you a lesson in the name of Mrs. Riveria. Talent, find talent. It looks so scary, Lafia. I just want to see what kind of beauties and girls are in this school district. Suddenly, the main god rushed in front of them, making Lafia speechless. At the same time, she also thought, probably because she is considerate of herself. It means slowly exchanging feelings with old acquaintances, right? Well, that's how it should be. Seriously, Loki is considerate of others in strange places. Eventually, they both laughed at the same time. I haven't seen you for a long time, Lafia. I'm so happy to see you again. Me too, Arisa. Has her hair grown longer? Short. I didn't even recognize it at first. They showed expressions that should be expected for this age group and laughed together. Only now, on this occasion when there were only two of them, the girls forgot their positions and went back to being who they were. Arisa Lagos. Two years older than Lafia, she was in a class when she was still a student. And also roommates, close friends since they entered the school district. The school district is a management organization of the Labyrinth City, it works with the support of the family, by the way, it should be seen as a collection of many, family members, and it is also a community. Baldr, who is the representative of the school district, is at the top of his head as a principal, but at the same time, there is no distinction between each, family, they have their own characteristics. The th family, in the school district, is called the class. Eden family is Eden class. Blocky family is Blackaban. Families that have received blessings from the main gods are active students, and this is a form that can only be seen in the school district. Among them, Lafia and the others belong to Baderban. However, seeing the current Arisa, I am very relieved. After all, there shouldn't be many people in the same class. And Arisa always talks to Barton. Barton breaking school rules. Lafia and Arisa are so good that they are often attracted and used as strongholds. They invaded monster lairs without permission. Arisa is the squad leader who commands everyone. Among them, his alchemy skills are amazing. 
Although her combat ability is not as good as Lafia's, as a so-called production profession, she has won unanimous praise from teachers. You became an overseer, Arisa. Yes, I finally became one. I'm very lucky. Arisa is the smartest among us. This is her strength. You will definitely reach your goal. To become a teacher in the school district. Dot. No way. It's just that I'm so busy with things right now. It was a coat of arms engraved with light and a ship, Baderban, and it was a proof of being an overseer that could only be selected through selection. As the representative of the students among teachers and students in each class, he has the freedom and authority to punish the students himself. It's definitely not wrong to say quasi-teacher. If it is changed to the family, then the teacher camp of the school district are the cadres like the school principal and supervising students are the cadre candidates. It's exactly like the placement of Raoul and the others among the members of the Loki families, Second Army.